first mod air filter and here's the times we have to beat we have to beat the stock run of 51 miles an hour um, 0 to 30 in 6.4 and an eighth mile of 14 seconds that should not be hard to beat all well, this position one this is basically how the air filter comes stock except it has this can on top of it um, you can take this rubber clamp off remove it push the rubber through that hole and your air filter is inside this can and you gotta take these three bolts out and uh, pull your air filter out stick it on there so pretty simple all this is gonna give 44 miles an hour results in filter position one are pretty pathetic um, looks like I'm gonna have to do the carburetor adjustment with the filter because I can't get the damn thing to run 44 miles an hour so I lost uh, what is that seven miles an hour so if you don't want to undo all your wiring you can just pull this enriching jet out um, and leave it hanging and the fuel hose I just take the fuel hose a little bit further down the line because it's hard to get in there to this thing on the 150 I just pinch it off here to uh, keep the fuel from all draining out the tamper proof screws on the bottom so I'm gonna pop those out just with a pair of ice grips it's pretty easy 94 jet in it um, stock I know I've got a good running 150 over there with the filter attached directly to the back and other than that it's pretty much stock and it's got a uh, 115 jet in it so uh, we might try like a 110 or something okay we'll put the 110 in it I don't want to go too big or too crazy I still want to be able to tune the carburetor I just want to get it good enough to see the difference in these filter locations of these screws for the float bolt I'm gonna use the same float bolt I'm just gonna uh, use these different screws the trick for this is to just uh, put it in like this then wrap it around and you can open the throttle and wrap it around and then it's on here's a pro tip you get yourself a syringe and dip it in the gas tank or you know push some fuel into that float bowl and fill it up once it starts running the vacuum will do the rest increased quite a bit almost two seconds the eighth mile was exactly the same it is an improvement no matter how slight so we'll keep it uh, we'll try position number two now with the filter right up against the uh, carburetor Let's see if that's better that's definitely my favorite position for looks wise it's just to have it sitting right back there we'll see how it works with that 110 jet and uh, we're gonna be able to tune that carburetor get a lot more speed out of this I just put that one tune in there to make it work and it seems to be working so we can compare the positions we're gonna try position number two on the filter Position two was better than position one. It got a uh, looks like a couple miles an hour on the top end. Um, another second off on the zero to thirty, but it was a little bit slower by 0.4 seconds. So that could be an anomaly in the eighth mile, which I'm glad because I like position two and I think I'll keep it in that position.